Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from richtv.io, live in Mexico. How you guys doing today? Live from Mexico on July 14, 2022. We're going to talk about the top news for today and the top news for tomorrow for you to expect. So let's talk about it. 100 basis points rate hike expected in America. The bets are surging, but maybe it's a 75 point. Either way, we know the rates are going up and the dollar hits a 20 year high surging and now equal to the Euro and stock set for a lower open again. NASDAQ finished down 142 points was down most of the day, a lot more than that, rallied a little bit. The NASDAQ did finish slightly in the green and the TSX, the Toronto Stock Exchange, down 278 points, so mostly a red day across the markets. One of the big pieces of the news, one of the reasons why the market was down, banks struggling, JP Morgan earnings came out, JP Morgan Chase earnings fell 28% after building reserves for bad loans, is not a good sign for owners and holders of JP Morgan. JP and guys, JP Morgan's earning per share is really, really undervalued, and we like their dividend. So I'm watching JP Morgan very, very closely. JP Morgan earnings fell short of analyst expectations as the bank built reserves for bad loans by 428 million. So we need to watch them very, very closely. I think this is going to create a buying opportunity for good long-term investors who want good quality stocks that pay dividends. JP Morgan is one of those. Another one that I'm watching that I don't own yet, but I'm very interested in, a very good price to earning ratio and a quality dividend. Morgan Stanley also reported second quarter earnings and revenue that were below, once again, analyst expectations, taking the markets down. The bank's results were hurt by a steep 55% decline in investment banking revenue. Profit dropped 29% to $2.5 billion or $1.39 per share from $3.51 billion or $1.85 a share a year ago. So declining revenue for Morgan Stanley and one of the reasons why they've been getting selling pressure all day. U.S. PPI jobless claims and even with bad inflation numbers that came out. Bitcoin, once again, a hedge against inflation. I've been saying it. This is an amazing opportunity to buy Bitcoin on the dip. And we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Bitcoin right here. We got it right up here right now. And you can clearly see that Bitcoin right now at 20,665. And if we go and we mark le levels of resistance and support, you can see that they are getting resistance at that 22,000 mark and they're getting support at that 17,000 mark. So if you're buying Bitcoin and you're sitting at 20,600 where it is today, you're kind of right where they're getting, right in the middle of support and resistance. So, you know, I'd be really looking at Bitcoin very closely. I think this is a great investment for Bitcoin at these levels of lower, in my opinion. Uh, full disclosure, I do own Bitcoin and Ethereum, and I'd love to get some more. And I think it's a good idea to continue to scale in at these lower levels. When you look at the chart, you can clearly see it's been much higher over the last six to eight months. So, um, you know, with Bitcoin seemingly breaking that 20K mark, it seems to find resistance uh, when it breaks over that 20K mark at around 21,000 and seems to sell off. So we've been seeing that over and over again. And you can see here the support and resistance levels I've shown you. The lowest it's been in the last month, 17,500. The highest it's been in the last month, 22,600. And currently sitting right at 20,600. So kind of in the middle. Now let's take a look at Ethereum as well. Pull up Ethereum. And Ethereum at 1,193. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to show you the levels of uh, resistance and levels of support for the last month. Okay. And you can clearly see $880 is the lowest it's been in the last month. So that's where you're getting support. That's where I would say is a decent buy zone. And 1,278 is the highest it's been in the last month. And it's currently sitting right at 1,192. So it's 
near the higher zone of the last month. So Ethereum is really rallying here, um, but it typically starts to get resistance at around that 1200 mark. So be aware of that. It is up uh, 7% on the day. It's been up as much as 10 or 11% on the day. So it's been rallying. Let's also quickly take a look at Solana. Solana is my third favorite crypto holding that I personally own. And you can see in the last month what they've been doing. Solana has been as high as $42 in the last month and as low as $26.75 and currently sitting right at $36. So kind of in the middle of the zone. Um, if you can get it at that $30 or less mark, it seems like a decent entry point. But if you're at that $42 mark, that's where typically it's getting resistance and where it's been selling. All right, economic calendar for July 15th. So we're watching July 15th very carefully now. And what do you have to expect for July 15th? Core retail sales month over month. This is a high impact news to be aware. And the Empire State Manufacturing Index numbers come out, which will have a minimum impact on the market. FOMC member Bullard speaks, medium impact on the market. And preliminary, prelim, UOM consumer sentiment, high impact news, financial confidence is leading indicator of consumer spending, which accounts for a majority of overall economic activity. Another piece of news, Google. Google is doing a 20 for one forward split on Friday. I am a holder of Google. I, I'm, I believe Google has a great future and I think it's an amazing opportunity for investors to get Google after a 20 for one forward split. So I would be telling and talking to everyone about Google tomorrow um, if I was you guys. Please remember that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and join our trading community built by investors for investors at richtv.io. We are live from Mexico. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out. Peace. We'll see you guys soon. I'm in Mexico. I'll be back in Canada soon. Stay tuned.